all know. Everybody, it is my privilege to you to bring you the man that has gotten me into stand-up comedy. The one, the only, Dallas is local legend. Give it up to Dallas. I lost a lot, but you know, I always do. I'm a complete failure. I'm a complete failure in life. And it's all because of alcohol. Now, from the day I was born, it was pretty much the same thing. I was in the womb. I was born at 11.21 a.m., by the way, and I'm sitting there in that womb going, Come on, bitch, come on! Come on! Let me out! I'm going to be late for the last call! Damn it! Oh, thank God I made at least a shot that night. And then I had to wait a few more hours to get another drink. But, yeah, alcohol is my, uh, my life. You know, Bacchus, uh, Bacchus is the Roman god of alcohol. Uh, he's my co-pilot. I wouldn't let that drunk ass fucking drive. So, um, anyway, uh, you know, alcohol's has been a problem. Uh, my wife uh, and I, our marriage ended about 12 years ago, and I blame alcohol. Uh, because if it wasn't for alcohol, that marriage would have ended a lot earlier. Yeah, it was a misery. Anyway, uh, you know, because I got fired from my last job. I really got fired. This is a few years ago, and, you know, I've been kind of broke, but uh, I was fired for performance issues. I um, was an English, or ESL, English and Second Language teacher, to a bunch of mimes. It didn't really work out very well. Now, um, you know, I tried a lot of different opportunities. Um, you know, usually when you hit a middle, mid-age, midlife crisis, uh, you try new things. I tried drug dealing, bank robbery, comedy. As you can all tell, I failed at all three of them. So um, I even came up, you know, if anybody knows, lead, or, uh, you know, a Goldschlager? Goldschlager, the alcohol? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I, I came out with my own line of drinks and they, they failed. I really thought lead schlager would succeed. No one seemed to want that. Even Mercury Schlager didn't do very well either. And Arsenic Schlager was a complete failure. So, uh, you know, uh, needing cash, I went on Craigslist looking for careers, and um, I'm not sure what it was, but these Italians would come by and they'd plan murders with me and ask for my permission and bring me bags of cash. I think I might have been a crime boss. It paid well. I mean, the hours were great, it paid well, I wore nice clothes, but I, I guess it was against the rules about moonlighting, having a second job. Um, I got fired. Yeah, I was calling uh, Crime Stoppers tip line and uh, solving crimes for them. Yeah, these guys didn't really like that very well. So I lost that one too. Um, now, last Christmas I had no job, uh, no alcohol. And I read in this book, I think it was uh, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Phil, same damn thing, really, uh, about a guy that walked around and he created loaves of bread and fish and turned water to wine. I was like, wow, that sounds, water's almost free. So I tried and I ended up with natural light. I mean, see what kind of failure I am? My whole life is just failure. But then somebody came by and told me, you know what, you can turn money, you can turn money into wine. I went to the store the next day, oh my god, that fucking worked. I turned money into wine. So I had wine that Christmas, so it's very, very happy about that. Um, well, anyways, I told you, uh, marriage ended. Um, you know, no, uh, no kids, luckily. So I guess I failed at that, too. Um, but even dating confuses me. How young is too young? A lot of people have these uh, ages. Um, 29 divided plus divided by two year eight. I, I don't know. It's some weird calculus. Um, or it has to be older than my children. I don't have any children. So apparently my rules are for dating ages, no negative numbers, no imaginary numbers. Um, but uh, the negative numbers can be broken a little bit. Uh, just a couple days ago when I was a beautiful young woman, she was negative one half. Uh, for some reason, her mom had to come along. I was, you know, I really thought we were going to go somewhere, but that woman being there kind of fucked it up. So uh, I was like, you know what? Cut the cord already, woman. Cut the cord. What? Yeah, that that didn't go too well at all. Um, and I guess I, you know, I, I do look pretty sad. Uh, as I, I live down here at Expo in Deep Ellum, and I wander around and run to a lot of homeless people, and they always come up to me and ask me if I have a dollar. 
I, mean, I guess they feel sorry for me. You know, I usually show them a lot of a few thousands. You know, and you know, uh, I do. You know, thank you for your concern and walk off. Um, so I'm glad somebody at least cares. Uh, you know, I tried a suicide hotline. I was feeling bad and drunk one night, and uh, they put me on technical support. Well, I even failed at that one. So um, people tell me, okay, if you're depressed, get a pet. Maybe you'll feel better. But, you know, I, I got a pet rock. You know, as a kid in the 70s, I'm, I'm that old. The damn thing died. It just laid in its little box. The fucker didn't move at all. Uh, it, it, the damn pet rock died. I mean, and I felt a little bad for a little rocky. I felt bad. I mean, I, I mourned and buried that rock. It was sad. Um, you know, and just in closing, um, one thing, I mean, my life slogan now is you can't spell failure without I-M-A. And there's no A. -M -A. No, no M. <laughs> All right, you've been a wonderful audience. Everybody enjoy your gambling here at the wonderful Underpass uh, Casino and Resort. And here in scenic uh, Las Vegas. All right, up next is going to be an Elvis impersonator. All right. Viva Las Vegas! Oh. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Nice.